from Cellphone Zone. I'm Neil, and today I've got a 9300 track wheel to change. Our one is broken, as you can see, it's not responding. So I'm going to change it and see uh, if I can fix it, basically. So, first things first, I'm going to take the back cover off and the battery out. I'm set it off and out. There are two T6 screws in the back here. Okay, there. There. All of the screws are T6 in the 9300, and there's only eight of them, so it's not really that difficult. Come around this side, I'm going to take my front screen protector off. Okay, now there's two layers to this, be careful when you do it. Make sure you don't separate them or it will look damaged. This is completely reusable. Mine comes off really easy because uh, I take it apart so much and QC take it apart a lot. So, as is a lot easier, the adhesive is much stronger, to be honest, on a new phone or a phone that hasn't come apart before. So, take your time. Right, on the bottom here, you've got a little plate normally with your mobile phone server's name or supplier if you like. All I do is lift it up and then I push it forward and that comes straight off. Underneath you've got two screws, but we'll take them out in a minute. Next I'm going to, to start on this corner, and just pop it off. Like that. It's a little bit stiff, because they're well held in on this. Okay, same on the other side, and then you should just be able to unclip the sides, push it off. Once that's off, you can take your keyboard out. Okay, next thing's next, we have got... Uh, six screws. We're going to take them all out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So, take them all out. Now they're all the same screws, so don't worry. You don't have to go back in a particular order. They're all the same. Then. All two, six. to come out. Easy, just put it straight off. Right, <clears throat> next thing we're going to take the board out. Well, I did that to start over here. I'll just put the thumbnail in and I'll just push the bottom. Yours might be a little bit stiffer than that, but it's not too hard. Once you've got the middle frame off, leave it out of the way. Okay, next thing is next, just remove the plastic. LCD, sorry. Pop it off. Move it out of the way. You don't have to, it's just easy to work on and lift it up. That's going to expose your uh, trackpad, your trackpad, if you like. Right. Now, you've got a stick here, and you've got to peel away. We'll stick back down, so don't worry. As you can see, I've had mine off to see how we do it. So we take the stick off, just peel it back, don't have to take it right off. Now, underneath this, there's a little rubber plate that you take off. That exposes the trackpad clip. Okay? Right. Now, we should be able to lift this up now. Yeah. See? That just lifts up, which will release the trackpad itself. Then, just going to pull it out. Tweezers again. Should be able to pick this up because it's now obviously the fixed cable doesn't always sit exactly where you want it to. No matter, it's all going to be working. That's all the way in. And once you've plugged it in, you just push the latch back down, make sure that's sitting all the way down. Now, we can leave the back together. Move the old track out of the way. So, get your little bit of rubber again, 
and place it back down to protect it. Stick her on. Remember to bend your LCD up or you will have problems with uh, fingerprints. That's nice and level all the way around. Put your little blade back on. Six screws. Back in. Just going to stick the bottom one to the first. Doesn't matter what order, really doesn't matter. Two screws in the back, either side of the battery. Track all working, as you can see. One track all working. Brilliant. Excellent job. Okay, that is how you change it on a 9300. Hope this helps, guys. You can buy all these products yourself, phone, same, or SW Box to come and have a look.